Okay, now it's time to get down and dirty. We're going to model this sucker's head. It's gonna get scary and it's a little bit more difficult than what we've done thus far, but the same principles apply. It just takes a little longer. So let's go to this view here. We're already set up with the neck here. Um, this looks good. I do wanna delete all these polys here in a second. Uh, right here, it looks like we need to go in, tweak components, move them in. Maybe I will go ahead and turn on soft selection here. Maybe take that down to one, see what that looks like. Ooh, that's too much. Maybe 0.25. Depending on how big your, uh, your object is in the scene, you may have to take yours down even more. All I'm doing is um, moving these in to kind of match the actual shape of the neck we have here. That uh, should be good. Yeah, okay. So we need to extrude up from here. Go to faces mode, and we'll select all these. There's a lot of ways to do the head. We could do it separately. Um, it will be easier for us looking at a view if we just started with like one or two polys. So I think we're actually gonna do that. I'm gonna delete these, and we'll get back to that later. What we're gonna have to do is eventually line up these polys with the polys we are about to create. So we'll have to count them and get an exact number. I'm not super worried about that. It's not going to be that hard. So what I want to do is for us to go make a just a plane right here. Let's frame it on that. Move it up maybe. Let's go to the pick marquee right there. Frame it. Okay. Obviously it has too many subdivisions. Remember we start super simple. I'm talking two polys is all I want right here. So channel box, sorry, attribute editor, polyplane, subdivisions, let's go down to one, two, one, two, just like that, okay? And then we're gonna go over here to channel box, we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees, like that, and we'll scale it up just a bit. So it matches the size of his face. We'll move it up there like that and scale it up a bit more. Something like that will work fine. And then we're going to delete these two polys over here. So boom, just like that. All right. Super simple. Why don't we just go ahead and go to object mode and name this head. Just like that. You know what we're going to do next? We're going to go edit and we're going to duplicate special. So now we have it mirrored. Okay. Now, <clears throat> all we're going to do is add a little detail, move points around, add a little more detail, move points around. It's that simple. First thing we'll do, we'll just move a couple points around here to fit. All right. So I'm going to go to tweak marquee tool and I'm just going to I'm going to grab this point. Oh, I've got soft selection on. Get that off. I will select this point and move it in. Just matching the face. That's all I'm doing. Nothing special. Maybe like that. You can see we need to add more detail now. And the point is, uh, I'll go to pick marquee. Um, the point is, add a little detail only as you need it. Okay, it looks like we've got nothing here, but we're off to a good start. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to add a little bit more detail, and we're going. you're going to start seeing how this process works. Don't be afraid of it right now. It's going to be awesome. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.